Hello, and welcome to Easy Gentle Cooking. I love cooking almost as much as I love eating. I started cooking when I was about six years old, and it's always been a very important part of my life. I also love cooking shows. I watch the PBS greats like Julia Child and Martin Yan as a child, and I consume a lot of cooking content on YouTube today. But not everyone has the same relationship to cooking that I have, or that a lot of these cooks on TV and YouTube have. A lot of the recipes on cooking shows require that you have a base level of cooking skills in the kitchen. And they also require that you have time, energy, mental and physical capacity to stand in the kitchen for at least half an hour, read a long list of instructions, shop for a bunch of ingredients, wash, peel, cut, boil, saute, fry in a full kitchen with a variety of pots, pans, and appliances, and then wash your mountain of dirty dishes afterwards. And I'm calling myself out here too. A lot of the recipes I feature on this channel are pretty complicated and pretty fancy. In my personal life, I often find myself spending hours in the kitchen in the pursuit of gourmet every day. And I do love the results. I love eating fancy, delicious food every day with my husband. But it takes a lot of time. Time that I want to devote to resting, exercise, creative pursuits, and just hanging out and chilling with my family. Many people can't be bothered to cook. And who can blame them when they're overworked, exhausted, and intimidated by the often unrealistic and unattainable results they see on Instagram and YouTube? Some people were raised in households that didn't cook, so they don't even know where to start. And there's a lot of shame that can come with that. You might feel like a failure as a parent or a partner or just as a person if you can't cook something from scratch or if you get takeout all the time. There's also a lot of judgment that can come with eating processed foods, either that you're stupid or immoral or unhealthy if you eat them. I used to feel that way myself sometimes, and I still feel like a failure if I have a bowl of instant ramen for dinner. We need to make our lives easier. We need to be kinder and gentler to ourselves and to each other, which was the inspiration for starting this series, Easy Gentle Cooking. When I say the recipes will be easy, I mean it. Even if you've never set foot in a kitchen, most of these recipes will be pretty approachable. This is a judgment-free zone where nobody will be shamed for not knowing how to boil a pot of water or how to cut an onion without crying. There will even be instructional videos on how to buy groceries and how to buy cooking equipment if you're a complete novice. I'm also going to keep all my videos in the series to five minutes or less, and in addition to providing the written recipes in the video descriptions, my videos will have closed captioning for the hard of hearing and for those with auditory processing issues. And since we all need to save money, I will also be leaning towards recipes that rely on cheaper ingredients. But since saving time and energy are my top priorities with this series, this will sometimes mean buying ingredients that are a little more expensive. Yes, your burrito will be 25 cents cheaper if you make your tortilla from scratch. But it will also take an extra 20 minutes to make, require strength and mobility in one of your hands, and you'll have a dirty, floury bowl, countertop, pan, and rolling pin to wash afterwards. Who wants that? Even if you're an intermediate to advanced home cook and you do have the time and energy to cook, I do hope that this series can remind you, and me, that it's important to sometimes give ourselves a break and just eat a cold cut sandwich for dinner. So there will be something for everyone and I hope that you all will join me for easy, gentle cooking. Find the playlist link in the video description below. And thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this series. I want to especially thank Chrissy, Britt, Honey Badgers, Megan M, Matthew, Jenny D, Robert Z, Mercedes, Jocelyn, Manila, Gina, Megan B, and Data Fox. Thanks again, and please let me know if I mispronounce your name, and I will fix it in future videos.